<laughs> the fuck are you doing, man? What's up, bro? You making a movie of my life? Yeah, yeah. Jesus, setting this up is so hard. Okay. Oh, we're just gonna go with this. Okay, so. Hi guys, I don't even know how to start this video, but this is gonna be something kind of strange. I don't know, it was one of those suggestions. Um, Simone gave it to me, thank you, I love you This is gonna be a conspiracy theory about my brother I think he's a viking I think he's something else, he's weird He's been acting strange and saying weird shit in my videos I did some research and it gets, it gets weird By the end of this video you're gonna also think my brother is a viking And things will never be the same so let's get started. First, let's check his Instagram. As you can probably see, his username is kind of weird. Because where does Paulus even come from, you know? Is, is it something he just made up? Is it something supposed to be funny? But well, the point is, I don't get it. So, I did some research about his username and what I found is truly devastating. His username begins by Paulus. Which means that you don't use the Pau in his last name anymore. So if you don't use Pau in the last name Powers, the only thing left is Els. And Els means the. The second part is Chris, which means a follower of Christ. But then it's directly followed by a one, which means individuality, achievement, leadership, and impulsiveness. And Impulsiveness is a word, right? If you're a leader and you're also a follower of Christ, that just doesn't make sense anymore. So what I think he means by this is that he thinks he's the new Christ or something. That he's the new God and that he's out here to save us all. Then it's followed by a three, which means the ability to create. Those two numbers together, a 13, means that he's connected to the Ascended Masters and their ability to help him manifest his desires. So it basically means that the gods are helping him out with whatever he wants. So in conclusion, he is the Chris. It basically means that he's the descendant of the masters meant to create a new world. So he's basically out here trying to create a new world. If that doesn't convince you yet that he's a freaking viking, then I have more, don't worry. If you keep going, through his Instagram, you'll notice that he doesn't really have many pictures. The only pictures he has is of like landscapes, the beach and that kind of stuff. Those are the territories he wants to take. The one thing that stands out from his Instagram is a meme. In the meme, there's a little kid that calls his dad saying, Dad, you forgot to pick me up from school again. And the dad goes, who is this? But I think he meant to tell us with this meme is that he's gonna take over the world and he's gonna forget about everything he's gonna forget about everybody he left behind he's gonna leave us all behind so you know yeah that's rude let's move on to his weird behavior in youtube videos in my halloween and stuff vlog during the outro he made a little joke he said we're kicking you out Dude, yes, i can't we're kicking you out. So, he's basically saying that they're gonna get rid of me Which is like a direct connection to this meme It's directly connected He's saying that he's gonna get rid of me That's... no He's gonna get rid of me And he's gonna forget me That's just why, what he actually meant In my last day of school vlog, in the outro You'll notice something weird happened What I should do next And um... First he pointed up and then he directly pointed down That, that was like, what, what are you doing? I found out that pointing up means hope for heaven And pointing down means that God is reaching down for our soul So what he actually meant during that outro Is that he hopes you're gonna go to heaven Cause like the gods are out there They're gonna try and reach for our souls or whatever Yeah, it goes that far It's getting intense, I know During the Belgian vlog 
in the intro the first real clip you see is my brother looking into the camera in a really strange way it's like what are you what are you doing it's kind of confusing and it's like he doesn't even know what what he's looking at he's like discovering a whole new thing or something I think that sometimes his Viking instincts and mind take over so when he's on his Viking mindset he doesn't know what a camera is and he's just all weird and creepy. A few minutes into the video we hear him talking about his car and his money and his cat like he's claiming everything he sees. I present you my keys. Keys for what? My car. This is my money. This is my cat. He was just walking around and decided that that was his car and that that was his cat and that that was his money. You know, Va Vikings do that. Okay. <clears throat> During the house tour, um, there was a part where he grabbed a bowl of chips and put it into the fridge. And he said, this way it stays good. That way it stays good. He says it stays good if it's in the cold. In the north, it's cold. Vikings are from the north, which means that he thinks that only cold is good. Every other place in the world where it's kind of hot is not good. He's trying to make it all a cold, bitch ass world. I'm warning you. So I was like, I'm reading too much into it, you know, I need some more proof, I need I need something else because maybe he was just acting weird for the video or something, you know, you, you never, you never know. I went into his Facebook and this is where it gets creepy, it gets weird here. Yes. The first thing you see when you go into somebody's Facebook is his profile picture and you'll notice that he's standing in front of a wall on the side it says Hamilton. Now we all know Hamilton, it's this musical is probably really great. I haven't seen it yet. I want to see it. I was like, why Hamilton? Why didn't they stand next to a wall that didn't say Hamilton, you know? Why that specific wall? I kind of did some research on Hamilton as well. And I found out that the guy who writes the music is called Lin Manuel Miranda. And who else do we know whose last name is Miranda? That's right. Your mom's not watching. Uh, I just want to say thank you to my mommy. This. Your mom's not watching. Yo, vlog! Hey, hey. So I think my brother, the Viking, is related to your mom's not watching. Be careful who you trust people. If you keep on scrolling through his pictures, you'll see mostly pictures from when he was little and stuff. There's just one pattern I kept seeing in his pictures is that he's always higher than others like in this picture he's on some kind of a trampoline thingy and like he thinks he's superior this shows that he thinks he's superior then there's also this one where i'm with him and my little cousin in a tree and who's the highest he is he thinks he should be up there that's crazy then i wanted to go a little further you know i wanted to be like there's no there is no reason to not believe he's a Viking. I wanted to be 100% sure that my brother is not who we think he is. So, I went onto his Snapchat as well, which he doesn't really use that often. So, when I go into Snapchat, we all have like a little bitmoji thingy. And his has like a little mask. It's like, are you trying to hide something? I'm sure that's a sign that he's not who he pretends to be. He's not who we think he is. It's not. It's not. And then comes his username which at this part really fucked me up okay so his username is Wagner underscore Chris so we're like yeah Chris like it's it's short for his name you know and whatever but what the fuck is Wagner you you can google it or something nothing will appear you won't find anything so I I kept thinking like what could it possibly be, what could it mean? And then I remembered that when we were kids we watched this little cartoon on YouTube. It's called Kabouter Wesley. And I remember there was this one episode where they talk about a planet called Vogner. So I kind of watched the video again and I paid real close attention this time. Basically the story is about a dwarf, his half dwarf, half tractor and he knocks over a house the guy inside was Kabouter Wesley like the main character was inside of the house that got knocked over and the guy's excuse for knocking over Kabouter Wesley's house 
was that he's impulsive. You know who else is impulsive? Which means individuality, achievement, leadership and impulsiveness. Individuality, achievement, leadership and impulsiveness. Coincidence? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. Some things, something's wrong here. Then the guy who knocked over Kawaterwazi's house proceeds to say that he lived in a planet called Vognor but that there wasn't really anybody living there and that he was with his mom who's a tractor. It's really, it's really weird and complicated. I thought maybe Vognor is a planet where the gods are, you know, where my brother's masters live. So from this I, I can conclude like for sure that my brother remains connected to Vognor through Snapchat. They send snaps to each other, that's how they talk. There's no doubt, so that's that's basically the conspiracy about my brother. That he's a viking trying to take over our world and trying to turn it into whatever he wants. And he can because the gods or whatever are on his side. Like all the masters, they're like, they're there to support him and they got his back. So basically, in conclusion for this video, we're fucked. But it's just a conspiracy. You can choose if you believe it or not, but I do. I strongly believe it. So yeah, that was it for this conspiracy. If you believe it, just leave it in the comments whether you believe it or not. And um, like and subscribe. What are you doing?